promise to continue our expansion in the face of the globalist with your continued support at InfoWarsStore.com. Let's go back out to the phone lines. We are still thinking about the big story from this weekend, the false alarm in Hawaii. We go back to our callers from Hawaii talking about their experience that day. Let's start with Tyson from Hawaii. Tyson, what was it like that day when you got the emergency alert? Well, Owen, it's great to talk with you. I'm calling to you from the bastion of liberal insanity here in Hawaii. Unlike our previous callers, I do live within a fairly close eight-mile radius of the uh, Honolulu, so I had to think about that factor. But I went into overdrive mode once I confirmed that this alert actually was not just a hack. I went to my cousin's house next door, and he confirmed it was real. And when I saw it on TV, giving some detailed instructions, I grabbed my son, jumped in my truck to grab some diesel fuel because... My, Actually, uh, hold on. I got I got to stop generation. you right there. I got to stop you right there. This is a new angle. I haven't heard about this. What were they reporting on television after the alert? Well, okay. Here's the deal, Owen. They have the alert that goes out on the um, emergency broadcast on your phone, which is primarily flash flood. But when I got it, the sky was crystal blue. Right. It's not a flash flood. Or, or like an amber alert too. Yeah, yeah. In a sense, but on the TV, it's much more descriptive. It, it scrolls across the old Miss game the basketball game and says, get inside, stay inside, take shelter, close the windows. Okay, okay, so there out. was also an emergency alert on the television. Absolutely, yeah. See, these systems are linked. Okay. The only the, the third tier of the link, the last leg, was the sirens. And the only place the sirens went off were on the military bases. Now, we're not sure who made that call. They're looking into that. Yeah, so it sounds but, like um, what we're learning here is there's obviously a separation between the people that launch those emergency alerts and then the people that sound the sirens. Oh, that's a, that's a known factor. The uh, military okay. are actually the um, ones that sound the sirens, or uh, the, the command comes down from PACOM, who are monitoring the, ex, the um, radar throughout the Pacific Basin. So what do you think this is? Do you think this was a deep state coup against Trump to make him look bad? Was it an honest mistake? And what do you think the backlash is? Well, let's take a look at the facts. We have to take a look at what our political figures, the very first thing they did right out of the gate while I was watching TV um, for the live stream from our local broadcast, was call, it, it took Colleen Hanabusa less than 30 seconds to pivot this back on Trump. Mm -hmm. But it's basically his fault. Yep. Um, to escalate, so-called escalate the situation. And I knew right then and there, I was like, really? You're not worried about the poor parents who are looking their kids in the eyes? And Doesn't saying, that tell the story, though? I, I think Tyson nails it right here. And you're not the first caller to suggest this from Hawaii. I think that that nails it. Doesn't that tell you the story that the first response from the politicians in Hawaii was, oh, this is what Trump's done. Look at what Trump's done. Not, folks, you know, pray to God and, and save your family. Let's, we're in this together. I mean, that to me tells it all. Well, I mean, okay, for example, I grabbed my son, and I'm going around the curve to grab some diesel fuel, and I had to put my hand on his thigh because he was breaking down crying, and I was all, I'm having a hard time holding back, and I said, son, just stick with me on this. Be my little helper. We're going to get through this thing. Um, and to as a father who <sighs> loves my kids more than I love myself, to have to do that is cruel and unusual and psychological. I could, uh, you know what? You, you, you're, 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 Tyson, you're in my head. You're in my head. The, the, the treason that these people, you know, we had we had people running our government that are probably guilty of treason for a long time. But what they have done since Trump is elected is not just selling this country out. They are literally throwing the entire republic under the bus, crapping on every American out there. No holds barred. I mean, it's just they just tear down society, burn culture to the ground, make children in Hawaii feel like their lives are in danger. <sighs> I'm praying that and we I find out what, who's really behind this and the whole Russian fake dossier. Uh, we need to arrest all of these treasonous people now. I I'm done with these people trying to ruin this country, man. Here's another one, Owen. So we got the guy who's at the defense, civil defense office. They're doing so-called change of shift uh, drill. Basically, at the time, they... Oh, they there's always a drill going on, drill. too. Yeah. So they simulate this drill, and you got two buttons on the screen, basically a mouse click. So the button on the left is... The, the real thing, and the button on the right is the drill. And so the, the reporter from Hawaii News Now asks um, Vince Miyagi, who I've met, um, so isn't there some sort of double check? Like, you can't even delete a file in your Windows system without asking you 13 times if you really want oh, to do Oh, they're totally this. lying and about that one button. Give me a break. No, there is a redundant system, and Mr. Miyagi said, yes, 
there is a do you really want to do this button. So this so-called employee who have not released his name, very interesting. There is theory that if mm. they did, bad things would happen to him. Um, yeah, he should be only- fired and investigated. Busted. Oh no no no! The the unions in Hawaii aren't like that. You you can't you don't get fired from screwing up. Uh, he, he's oh, going to be in for a retraining program. I heard that on Lionel this morning. He's going to be a quote unquote retrained. No oh, yeah. Thank you unions. Love you H G E A. Um. So so <sighs> basically, but they you. won't release his name. So who is this mystery employee? And how can you click the button? Boom. Yes, it's a drill. And boom, I really want to do it. But it has to hit the wrong button that says, this is the real McCoy. But the, you know, the emotional it, it, damage to the my neighbors, uh, there's a care home across the street, old folks. I ran across the street. Who's on a ventilator? Who's on life support over here? Do you guys need power? I have a generator system. I'm a prepper. I've got fish. I've got rabbits. I've got everything but enough diesel fuel on hand, obviously. Um, so so she's sobbing. She's I wonder if, I wonder if anyone it, actually it, like suffered like million cardiac million arrest or something from this. People. Did anyone Indeed. die from this false alarm? What's that again? Oh, and I'm sorry, you broke up. W- was there any loss of life from this false alarm? Like, you know, maybe an elderly man has like a heart, at- heart attack or something? Well, I don't know. But take a look at this kid that's being lowered down into a storm drain. Do you know what kind of gases live in storm drains? Okay. That's where methane, <sighs> the methane evolves up from these storm drains, right? So here's this father trying to provide his beautiful daughter, which I have one of those, as much protection as he can see fit in the 10 minutes you got. Mm-hmm. Um, lowering down in this storm drain. Um, that's just the most uh, publicized example. And how do you th- look? You know what? I'm so, this is unbelievable. Thank you so much for the call, Tyson. I'm sorry, folks. This was such a this was such a false flag. This was such an attempt to make Trump look bad. You can tell because of their response. You can tell because it took them so long to correct the record. Why wouldn't you immediately, right after you sent out emergency alert, you knew it went out. You knew it wasn't true. Why didn't you immediately send out another one? Why didn't you immediately correct the record? Immediately. This was, this was a false flag against our President Trump and the reaction from the politicians in Hawaii prove it. Do you understand that the powers that be, the corrupt politicians and the deep state are literally willing to burn this country to the ground right now to stop President Trump and to stop his agenda? That's how you know how real he is. They will torture the people of Hawaii with a false report of a missile coming at them, and then they won't even tell them it's false. They will tell you all of this fake news about President Trump. Oh, he gropes women. Oh, he's a Russian. They'll start huge investigations, waste taxpayer dollars. They'll have Oprah Winfrey go on the stage of the Golden Globes and say, I'm all about the Me Too movement, while she's pimping women out to Harvey Weinstein the whole time. These people are trying to burn this country to the ground just because of President Trump, just because we elected a real person, just because we, the American people, took the country back, just because we, the people, want to control our destiny. They're trying to squander it and lie us into a complete scorched earth. I'm done with this, man. Whoever was behind this, they all ought to be arrested. All of them behind the Trump-Russia dossier. All of them behind... This is just... I'm sick of it, man. I cannot believe that they would go with this false alert, not correct the record immediately, leave it out there for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, people of Hawaii are thinking they're under a missile attack. And what do the politicians of Hawaii say? Well, this is what happens because of President Trump. You knew it was fake. You probably planned it. Moby claims that the CIA told him to promote the fake dossier claims. And we've got this video. I'm not going to have time because I want to get to your calls. But he talks about active and former CIA agents, you know, convincing him that the dossier was the real deal, that Trump was basically a, a puppet of Putin. This is a real deal. You need to help us make awareness of this. So here's why this here's why this story gives me hope. And I, this is what the audience need to needs to explain or needs to understand. Forget about the controlled aspect of the entertainment industry. That's not what I'm talking about here. We all know that goes on. What I'm talking about is you had members of the CIA, members of the intelligence community going to these artists and going to these members of Congress. This is where it's key. You see, they go to the members of Congress and they say, hey, look, we've got some serious problems here with Trump and Russia. Russia's got serious blackmail. Trump's got serious ties. It looks like this is basically a coordinated effort being led by Putin. 
So you've got the directors of these intelligence agencies going to these members of Congress, selling them this bill of goods, and the members of Congress, you know, they don't know what's going on. They have no reason, I suppose, not to believe this intelligence. So they're sitting there kind of like, whoa, okay, I guess this is the real deal. I mean, we'll take this seriously. So they're going out spreading all of these lies, the Clappers, the Brennans, spreading all of these lies, telling the members of Congress. So they've got the members of Congress believing it about two years ago, a year ago. So they're all believing this. But now here we are and it's all coming out. Wait a second. It's all a lie. Wait a second. It was all fabricated. So now you've got Moby that's like, wow, the CIA came to me and they tried to get me to spread this fake news on this Russian dossier thing. What's up with that? You've got all these members of Congress that were originally like, oh, boy, I don't know. I can't go along with this Trump. He might be a Russian agent who are now like, wait a second. Trump's not a Russian agent. He's helping America. America's back on its feet. Uh, the Russian dossier was fake. So so now all of that pressure applied by the intelligence agencies and the deep state to fall for this Russian story has completely fallen apart. So now you've got members of Congress that are like, OK, that was obviously bogus. No reason for me to be afraid of President Trump now. And soon you're going to have members of the entertainment industry that are the same way. Just real people that just bought the lies from the intelligence communities that are now realizing it. This was nothing but lies. This is nothing but a deep state coup against Trump. So. That's the good news about this to me is that people are realizing now that they've been lied to members of Congress, people in the entertainment industry that fell for the Trump Russia thing at first, because, I mean, people came to them very seriously like, hey, look, this is a real deal. Uh -huh. No, now it all turns out to be fake. All right. A couple new news stories. Uh, African migrants bring untreatable form of tuberculosis to Europe. Yeah, that's why you have borders. That's why you have walls. That's why you don't just have an open immigration system. You have protections. It's called self-preservation. But then the Pope says it's a sin if you fear migrants. So even if they're bringing in untreatable diseases of tuberculosis, burning cities to the ground, making no-go zones, you're sinful if that makes you fearful, just like an Islamophobe. If you just witnessed a terror attack in New York City where a radical Islamic runs people over in a car and then you're afraid of radical Islamic terror, you're an Islamophobe. Don't you know that? Government to resume processing DACA renewal, citing judge ruling. So you've got all these Obama appointee judges that are just basically going against the president, going against the mandate from the American people, and just bringing in as many non-citizens as they can, trying to get them on the voter log so that they can vote Democrat. They already admitted that's their plan. Now we know it. Trump head faked, made them think he was going to make a DACA deal, and then said no. Let's go back out to Hawaii. Let's go to Trevor from Hawaii. Trevor, what do you think is behind the false alarm that went out in Hawaii? Uh, you know, I'm not entirely sure. I think it could be like a hack or perhaps a troll or a rib or a little raz by some of the 4chan types. Because if you look at how it, how it is uh, phrased and the exclamation points, it just doesn't seem like something official to me like that would be put out. And I think... Let's pull up the official... Hey, guys, pull up the official uh, thing again. Go ahead. But I think this has to do with the CNN, and they've, they've lost their credibility, and they are just just wondering, what what do I got to do to these people to to make them listen to us again? They're going to... And they're using Hawaii as a little controlled little island of test subjects to see what happens when they tell everybody that... Uh, nuclear fire shell is going to hit super hard right now. See what happens. Are they prepared? Who's prepared? I'll tell you who was prepared. It was the ex-military people, and it was the conservatives, the leftists. As it, uh, those people, they're out here running around like chickens with their heads cut off. They didn't even have water. They didn't have diesel fuel. They didn't have anything. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I think this, these people are just seeing what they can do. That's why it took them a half an hour. That's why it took them 30 full minutes to, to rescind their warning to everyone because they just wanted to watch. They wanted to gather and collect data. That's and they wanted they to did. put their message out there of propaganda against President Trump, too. You notice how that's what they did. They wanted to, they wanted to induce a Dr. Strangelove type effect. Where, oh, my you know, gosh. Oh, felt, my gosh. Oh, wanted, my gosh. You just hit it on the head. President Trump to push the button and, and send the world into a state of... Just chaos. They Actually, okay. Right oh my there. gosh, he just he just hit it on the head. So here's what they do. Thank you so much for the call, Trevor. This is this, Trevor getting fired up. Oh my gosh, this is what they did. They put out the fake alert, and they send the people of Hawaii into a panic. And then what do they do? 
they associate it with President Trump. So that's the, oh my gosh, that's the psychological battle. Put you in a state of emergency, put you in a state of panic, and then have you direct and project that onto President Trump as if it's his fault. And they thought they could get away with it. Just like they thought they could get away with the fake Russian collusion narrative. I, I, this is just unbelievable. Let's go to Chris in Hawaii. Chris, what do you think is behind the fake alert? How's it going, on? I just want to say I've been a huge fan since I've seen you as the cuck slayer back in Cleveland in 2016. A good job doing that. And the products are great. Living out in Hawaii, you need the X2 after Fukushima and everything that's going on here. Survival Shield X2, 50% off right now at InfoWarsStore.com. Oh, absolutely. I'll talk more about the products, but I know I don't have much time left, but my family uses them all. The Alpha Male is excellent as, or no, um, Alpha Power, excuse me, it's not Alpha Male, it's excellent as well. My wife really appreciates it too. But to the real deal, I just want to be the devil's advocate here. Um, being born and raised here, we are run by a bunch of idiots in Hawaii. It would not surprise me at all if the nepotism in the hiring system in our state and local county governments caused this to happen. Okay, but let me, pause, let, me just hold, let me just pause you up right there because I'll hear you out here. If that is the case, you understand how desperately pathetic that is because there are multiple oh. fail-safes. I mean, you – and then they didn't even I put did. out a, a, a correction within – I mean, if that's true, you're literally talking about the dumbest of the dumb – I, I agree with you 100%. My sister, who moved to Las Vegas, she texted me immediately saying, oh, you know, it's somebody's cousin that hit that button. And I said, yep, you know, it's right. So and you think I, this I, is I, just I you think this is just low IQ, moronic Democrat leadership in Hawaii? I, I just I want you to know that I'm 100 percent behind the info wars on everything, 100 percent behind the Las Vegas. Um, what? Uh, uh, Loomer has to say about it, but as far as the state I'm born and raised in, I hate to say it, but we are run by idiots. We are run by people that just do not know what's going on. And I could give you example upon example. But well, I yeah, I mean, I, 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 hey, I, we don't screen your calls. I want everyone's opinions. That's why we we're taking calls from Hawaii. I mean, I know that you guys have loony liberals that are running the place out there. You got welfare states going on. I mean, luckily, it's still a beautiful place and you don't have too many dregs. But but yeah, you do have well, liberal leadership out there. That's completely crazy. Thank you so much for the Chris uh, call. Chris, I'm sorry. We got to go here. Uh, final minute of the show. We're going to have Alex. I mean, obviously, Alex is going to have the breaking news on this tomorrow on the Alex Jones show. He'll be breaking it down from 11 a.m. Central right through to 3 p.m. Central. And then I'll take over on the war room. David Knight, of course, in the mornings at 8 a.m. So we'll have the developing news from this. But to me, this this looks like a deep state operation against President Trump, a total false flag to to send negative emotion to President Trump where it doesn't belong, when really this is a blatant attack on the people of Hawaii and the American people. And whoever is responsible for this needs to needs to be known and needs to tell us exactly what happened. Folks, this entire thing is possible. Ten hours of live broadcast every weekday at InfoWars.com slash show because of your support at InfoWarsStore.com. Maximize your potential and take your body back with Super Male Vitality. We're breaking the conditioning and fighting back against the globalist war on male vitality. Our ultimate non-GMO formula is sourced from powerful organic herbs that have been gathered from around the world and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. InfoWars Life wants to bring you the highest quality products. Our unique combination of ingredients is designed to assist the body in regulating proper balance and creating superior vitality in males. Support your body and mind and take yourself to the next level. Boost your vitality and energize your life. Take control of your body. Grab a bottle of Super Male Vitality today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com.